Tiny Gamer here! And, well... 5.0 is here! Let's go! Yes, sir! 5.0, baby! So, I do have some primos saved up, of course. Um, the top-up just resetted, so I did grab some primos. But, um, now it's time to do a summon. And the only reason why I want to summon for Mualani, by the way, is because of movement. Yeah, n no particular reason at all. It's just that she's great at traversing through Natlin. So I need a character who is great at traversing through Natlin. What better character than the first 5.0 character to ever release, aka the first Natlin character, aka uh, Cassandra Lee Morris Sothis. Yeah, Mualani. So I gotta be summoning for Mualani. Um, I will tell you my pity, of course, but before we do that, um, I have to, uh, well, put a disclaimer right here. So, I'm not gonna be summoning for the weapon. Wanna know why? I know, it's buffed, right? As you see there, it's only one fate point. I can chart a course right now. But, the reason why I don't wanna get it is because I already have a way to get her free-to-play weapon R5. Because I saved up so much catalysts. Because none of my characters use those free-to-play weapons. So, Mulani is just going to be grabbing the R5 Natlin weapon, the Catalyst. And it works really well on her because it boosts her normal attack damage as long as you have elemental skill. And it's for every HP, 1000 HP she has, which is great for her. So, I'm not going to be summoning for her weapon. Unless I get really lucky for some reason, then sure, why not? But... I have to save up for Kanich. He's going to be coming up in 20 days. So, yeah. Um, the best you could see right here is just a Mualani summon. If I do get lucky enough, though, probably get her weapon as well. Because why not? Right? Well, anyways. Now it's time to summon. So, here we go. So, um, my pity right now is at 2. This is going to bump up my pity to 12. I have to check to see if I'm recording or not. Because sometimes I forget that I am recording. Okay, I am. All right. Um, this is gonna bump up my pity to 12. Let's see what we get here. So they did change the uh, summon animation. So now we know if uh, we reach 50-50 or if we lose 50-50. So yeah, that's great. That means we don't have to guess every time we do a summon when we get a 5-star. Lion's Roar, I don't think... I think that's it. Is that it? Unlimited Blade Works! Love to see it, right? Oh boy. Okay, um, this is gonna bump up my pity to 22. Let's see what I get here. All right. Um, by the way, I'm at a 50-50 chance, um, on my, uh, pity right now. Because I did break my 100% on Emily. So, yeah, that's what, uh, we're gonna be moving forward for. Bennett, I already have him. Uh, I already have him, C6. And, uh... I forgot to mention, uh, Kachina's in the banner. Um, Kachina, you don't have to get her from summons, uh, thankfully, because you don't have to do it, uh, because there is a quest where you can get her for free. So, yeah, um, screw what I said about the, uh, special program video. You can get her for free, so you don't have to summon on this banner if you don't want to. But, as for me, I gotta summon for the new character, because it's, it's a new character. So, yeah. Well, anyways... Uh, this got to bump up my pity to 32. Let's see what I get here. Another 4 star. Okay. Um, I already have, uh, both Shinyan. I think Shinyan's in the web, uh, in the banner. Shinyan and Bennett C6. So I don't need more dupes. Okay, we got Shinyan. Nice. Uh, I don't know. I think she's at C5 or C6. I'm not sure what Shinyan is at. Well, let's see. Yeah, she's at C6. Okay, I, I was not wrong. Okay, okay. This is gonna bump up my pity to 42. We are basically at the halfway point. So let's see what we get here. Another 4 star. Okay. Another Bennett. That is, uh, that is another 5 glitters. No Kachina dupes, huh? All right. Okay, this is gonna bump up my pity to 53, I believe? No, 52. 52. Alright. Um, we are basically at the halfway point. Alright. 
Hopefully we can get at least one Kachina dupe. Okay, Shenyan. We're just gonna get everything but... We're just gonna get everything but Kachina, I guess. Alright, that is... That was pretty unlucky, I guess. Okay, 62! Let's see what we get here. We are basically, um... Above the average threshold now. Four star. Another Shenyan. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna give us a Kachina dupe. Even though she is literally featured in this banner. Is that it? Yeah, Shenyan. Okay, 72. We are basically almost there at this point. Okay, that's a four star. So the next multi is going to be a, a basically a guaranteed five star. If not, then we are, we're forced to do singles. Alright, is that the only thing we're gonna get? The Bennett dupe? Yeah. Okay. Yahoo! We got Bennett and Shinyan so many times. We didn't even get a single Kachina. What are the chances of that? <laughs> Alright, this is gonna bump up my pity to... 82? No, 72 maybe? I think so. Okay, let's see what we get here. 72, huh? Oh, okay, yep, we, we lost 50-50. We lost 50-50. Um, you know, the reason why I lost 50-50 is because we didn't get the new animation. If it was the new animation, then yes, we wouldn't have lost 50-50. Oh, well, well let, let's see what the 5-star is. If it's another Chi-Chi, that would be like C5 Chi-Chi. Oh, wait, what? Me, traveler. <laughs> I'm Mulani, a guide from the people of the springs. If you need anything, just raise your hand and let me know. Now, please stow your weapon, secure your belongings, keep a firm hold on Paimon, and most importantly, let go of your troubles. I prepared a sharky surfboard for you, so hop on and try not to fall. Alrighty, let the journey begin! Um... Um, what? Uh, sorry I had to stay silent. I had to do it for the voice lines, but... What? Um... We got her? Uh, that, but the new animation didn't play. It's supposed to show the intertwined fate. You know, like, the, the whole thing, the whole gold thing turns into the intertwined fate. And then it, it shows the five star. Uh, I guess they, they didn't do that? I... I, I don't know. I... What? What? O okay. Um. Well, we got Mulani in the bag, I guess. Um. Yeah. W what? I, I I'm just weirded out. Like, there's supposed to be an inter. Okay, so if you guys don't know what I'm talking about by the guaranteed featured animation, there's an animation where when you get a five star, it plays as normal, right? You get the uh five star wish. It turns gold. But. It's supposed to turn into an intertwined fate. Yeah, the five-star crystal is supposed to turn into an intertwined fate. We didn't get that animation and we still got Mulani. So that means... I guess... It's just a rare animation. It's just a rare animation, I guess. Because we just got Mulani off of 50-50. Okay, sure. Um, Alright, let's just count my pity here. So, one... One pity. Okay? Uh, yeah! Woohoo! I-I guess... I guess we just- we just got her. Uh, okay, since we did win 50-50, I guess we could just go for weapon, honestly. Well, why not, right? We already have, like, 3k primos left. Um, uh, before I do that, I'm gonna get some more primos off the shop, so I will be right back and then get some more primos. So, uh, yeah, well, sit on tight and relax. Uh, I will be cutting, uh, and I'll be right back. Alright, so we are back, uh, for some more summons. So I got 14,000, uh, saved up. So the reason why, actually the main hidden reason why I want to summon on this weapon banner is for stringless. Yep, I want a lot of R5 stringless. I only have some of them, only R1 for most of my characters, so might as well get these R5, so why not? And also, uh, well, Freedom Sworn, I already have that, but it's great on other characters, so I can just uh, use this sword on someone else, so that's great. Alright, so this is gonna, well, bump up pity to 
10. Yeah, I'm at zero pity. Let's see what we get here. A four star? Okay. So far, it's pretty average rates. Favonius Greatsword. I think that's the only thing we're gonna get here because usually weapon banners don't give you that much. In re okay, never mind. I guess we get Shinobu. I don't think I have her at C. Yeah, I don't have her at C6 uh, yet. Pretty great. I will take that. All right, this is gonna bump up my pity to 20. Let's see what we get here. Another four star. All right, Favonius Sword. That's also a pretty good weapon too. Um, it's a great free-to-play weapon, honestly. Especially since you get it commonly. Dragon's Bane, that's a uh, Zhongling pole arm. All right. It's gonna bump up my pity to 30. Thankfully for the weapon banners, you can only go up to around uh, 80 pulls. So we're not gonna... It's gonna take us a while to reach pity, but we are gonna be reaching it eventually. Okay. All right, this is gonna bump up my pity now to 40, I believe. Let's see what we get here. All right, another four star. We are basically halfway done. Sack fragments, that's also a pretty good catalyst. Um, great on sucrose, great on others. Okay, there we go. We got a stringless. We need to see more of those. Okay, we got one stringless. All right, pretty great, pretty great. All right, um, 50 pity. Another four star, okay. All right, another string. Yes, sir. I will take that. Yes, more stringless is the better. Stringless is honestly one of the best four star weapons in the game. It's so good on, on sub DPSs and supports. You have no idea how good that is. All right. 60 pity. Another four star. These are pretty much average rates at this point. Bavonia sword. I think that should be it though. Yeah, uh, Favonius Sword. Okay, 70. Um, we are basically down to the wire. This is just basically, um, they have to give us the five star. Okay, there it is. All right, let's see if it's the weapon we're looking for, if it's Mulani's weapon. Okay, Dory. Okay, well, she's here to taunt me. Okay, Dory. Hopefully you give me the weapon. Yes, sir! Let's go! Okay, we got so lucky. Holy crap. We, we went in. We got Mulani on 50-50. And we got Surf's up too. We won the 50-50 on Surf's up as well as the 75%. Holy crap. Let's go. I will take that. I will absolutely take that. Let's go. All right. That is a pretty great summoning session. Holy crap. We got we won 50-50. We won 50-50 on weapon. Um, even though we had to reach uh, basically around hard pity. But we got what we wanted. We got Mulani. We got our weapon because we got lucky on Mulani. Yeah. I, I will take that. That is satisfactory. Would you mind coming with me? All right. So, uh, well, since the summoning session is over, now I have to end off the video. Of course, I am going to be doing the test runs for both of these characters eventually, right here. So, Mualani and Kachina. I'm going to be doing a separate video on those characters, so uh, stay tuned if you want to see those. Um, I will give my opinions, of course, on both of these characters. But before we end off the video... Yeah, we got to do this, right? So... I have to give my advice to you guys before um, we choose a character. So, um, if you guys don't have any of these characters, like any of them at all, choose Jean. Jean is the number one pick here. As for, well, if you have all of those characters but one, let's say you own everyone but Mona, then pick Mona because it's a new character. But um, as for a veteran player like myself who has played since 1.0, 
pick Jean. Jean is really good. She's really good on all the teams. She has viridescent support, which is pretty nice, which everyone needs. She gives movement speed and attack speed up. She is an AoE healer, which means she's great on burning teams, uh, Bergen teams, as well as other teams that drain HP, like Farina. She's great on Farina teams. She's just really great in general. As for the secondary pick, if you already have Jean, then you can pick Tainari. He is a Dendro character. Great character overall. Pretty, pretty good. And as for the third character, it's either a choice between Mona, Kuching, or Diluc. These two, these three are equally good. Kuching is great on Aggravate and Quicken teams. Mona is a Hydro Nuker, great on Vape teams. Diluc is great with Shan Yun. So you can just run a uh, Dragon Strike Dilu or Diluc build, which is pretty great. So as for me, I have two choices. I can either go for C1 Deha or C6 Jean. Well, since I do have to complete this chapter of my life, I keep getting Jean every single time in the standard pull. I have to do it. C6 Jean, here we come. So, uh, well, before I pick that, I gotta show all my other constellations. So, as you see there, Jean is C5. Diluc has no constellations. Chi Chi's at C4. Mona's at C2. Kuching's at C2. Tainari's at C1. Deha's at C0. So, in order to complete this chapter of my life and to complete one of the characters and to basically have a 5-star C6 character, I'm picking Jean. Yep, she's now at C6. And with that out of the way, the video ends here. So, well, anyways, thank you guys for watching this summoning video. If you do, uh enjoy what you saw and if you want to support the channel be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel it really does mean a lot if you do support the channel um keeps me motivated it keeps me making more videos for you guys and again um without your guys' support i wouldn't be here so thank you guys so much if you do like and subscribe it really does mean a lot that you support the channel again thank you guys so much and well what do you think of mulani guys you think she's great you think she is bad. Are you going to summon for her or are you not? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to see what you guys think of Mulani, the new character of Natlin. So, yeah. Well, uh, anyways, as always, thank you guys for watching this Mulani summoning video. And I'll see you guys in the next Genshin, or in this case, Gacha video.